Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this uh, 2015 Dodge Dart SE. Now, this is a real basic vehicle. It's designed um, basically, you know, to give you a good price vehicle. And uh, it's not the, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's pretty basic. Just starting right here, you can see it has hubcaps with steel wheels. And this one is actually pretty darn dirty. But you can't really tell too much because of the color. It's a silver color, but if you kind of kind of check out the get close, you can see how filthy it is. Another thing is I want to mention uh, this is a brand new car, and um, you want to pay attention to this when you you know if you're look if you're going to buy a car, even brand new cars can come in with a flaw. This one has a dent in the hood. See if I can get the right angle. You see that right there? 2015 car damaged probably through shipping or something. But um, you want to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff and kind of look over your car very well. And uh, you know, and that way you don't you know get surprised later. You kind of kind of talk to the dealer about it. You may be able to replace it, repair it, whatever it takes to to get it you know in good shape. He might actually give you a discount for the uh, inconvenience. But anyway, so this is a silver color Dodge Dart SE. It has projector headlights here in the front. And um, let's see if I can get it some lights to come on with the, here's the, the key. And it has a lock and unlock and also the, the trunk there. But it has the halogen projector headlights. And that's standard on the Dart. Alright, back here. Let's see if I can get the lights to start flashing for you so you can see what it looks like. You got the dark. Now, what I was told, what I heard was that the the uh, the new chargers look like darts, but I hadn't been able to actually confirm this. But from what, I'm, what I've heard is that the darts were actually based on the charger design that they haven't come out yet. But, I mean, the dart has been out for a, whole, a couple years. So, it seems, you know, it sure does seem like that the, uh, you know, the charger was based on the dart. But, I don't know. Maybe if you know, you can leave it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and open up the back. So it has pretty good spring, so it lifts right up automatically just by pushing the button on the key. Here's the trunk. And there's the, it's pretty good size. And the seats fold down, it looks like. We'll find out, I'll look. It looks like they might. This lifts up, and it does not have a spare tire. It has an inflator kit, but just want to mention to you, that if if you're looking at a vehicle, a new vehicle nowadays, you want to double check and see if it has a spare tire or not. Just don't take that for granted because that's that's an option nowadays on a lot of vehicles. All right, so I'm gonna just make sure it's unlocked here and look in the back. Sun's going down on me, but hopefully you'll be able to see. There's the inside of the back door got a bottle holder and it's got like a cloth and plastic coating here this is hard plastic this is soft this is soft here this is hard <clears throat> got a speaker there and the door could have airbags pretty much all the way around it's got a little bit of leg room back here I mean it's not a I mean this front seat is all the way back so it's not too bad and this seat does go down and it's all the way across no 60 40 split on this one so there's this little thing here that unlatches it no armrest got a little cubby hole back here and the seats have like a dual there's like a texture here and then a soft softer um, cloth here
let's move over here. There's the rear view mirror. Now this one does not have the proximity key. It just has a regular key that you can lock and unlock the vehicle and you have to get in there, no remote start or anything like that. So, but here's the inside of the driver's door. get that why people want a loud vehicle but anyway uh, <laughs> bottle holder right here you've got your door lock power window and side mirror controls and then you've got that same you know textured cloth there there's the headlight controls no powered no, I mean no automatic uh, headlights and no power seats All right, so getting in the dart, um, it's pretty comfortable. The seats are comfortable. It has a pretty good amount of leg room here. And um, it's not, for a small vehicle, it doesn't feel, you don't really feel cramped. Um, I got a decent amount of head, head room here. Let's see if you can tell. Got some head room there. But, um, and it looks pretty cool on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the key and put it in here. Start it up. Turn the volume down. Okay. So there's your gauges. Pretty basic stuff. Uh, good sporty looking red background there. And then the steering wheel here. You got cruise control on this side. And on the back of the steering wheel, you can adjust the volume. On the back of the steering wheel on the left side, you can change to the stations. Like I don't want to listen to that station, I can go to another station. It does have Bluetooth to where you can pair your phone with a system and make and receive calls uh, using this phone button. Also has voice recognition. Steering wheel is not leather wrapped or anything, but it does have a, a pretty neat little uh, grip here and has good thickness. I'm going to shut the door. So you can see that little screen there, it says Dodge. And uh, right there it says 52 degrees, three miles. I'm gonna kinda push some buttons here on the steering wheel, just to kinda show you. I can have a digital speedometer. Um, I can have different trips. I can have the range to empty, average miles per gallon, uh, current miles per gallon, stored messages will be there, oil life, settings, and then it scrolls back there. So I'm gonna leave it on speedometer. But uh, that kind of gives you, you know, some more information there. You do have a tachometer with your RPMs there on the left, speedometer on the right, temperature gauge and your gas gauge there in the middle. All right, and over here is your radio. And you got radio, uh, AM, FM, and I don't think it has satellite radio on this one. And uh, it does have a CD player, which is, you know, kind of odd, some of them don't even have that available but this one has a CD player you got your presets there at the bottom and your time you can put your clock there info no info I guess if there was info it would show that your volume tune through the stations there you can change to the tracks adjust the audio menu system stuff like that there on the radio pretty basic radio probably the most basic I think on the Dodge Dart so down here, you got your climate controls and, uh, you know, the temperature, air, the fan speed, and where you want the air to blow there. Down here, you've got a, it's getting a little dark in here. Let me turn one of these lights on. Maybe that'll help. This is, uh, you know, you got a power supply. You also have a little pocket there in front of it, right in here. And there's your shifter. Now, this, uh, this vehicle, um, just to show you on the show you the window sticker while we're at it uh, this one has a six-speed transmission and a 2.0 liter uh, engine and you can see it says Dodge Dart SE and there is some of this is not is is let me show you this is the standard stuff standard equipment feel free to use the pause button all right it goes up continues up here 
Now, optional equipment is here. This is where it has the convenience uh, customer preferred package. This is where a lot of your extra stuff comes in. Also, um, the six speed power tech automatic transmission is also an added uh, feature. So you've got the convenience group and the automatic transmission. So everything else is pretty much standard. <clears throat> All right, so there's a shifter, and uh, you can just basically, just like a regular old shifter, you put it in gear, and you go. Now, if you wanted to manually shift through the gears, or if you need to adjust your gears, you could push it over here to the left, and you can kind of bump it and change it to the gear that you want. Or you can go back into drive. All right, there's your parking brake there, cup holders. Got your little armrest here, and it's also a console that you can put some stuff in. It does have a USB power supply in there, as well as a uh, auxiliary input. And I'm pretty sure that you can play music through that USB as well. Glove compartment is dark, but you can, but it is huge. It goes all the way in there, pretty good. Pretty good size glove compartment. There's a rear view mirror, it has a little flippy thing for day and night. Right on top of the rear view mirror is these little bumps. Those are the microphones for your Bluetooth system. These are tap lights up here. The visor has a little mirror here. There we go. Same thing on that side. So I'm losing daylight, but hopefully you can see pretty good in here. It's got a dome light there. That's what it looks like looking out the back. Back seats. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look under the hood and see that little engine purr. here is the uh, 2.0 liter VVT four-cylinder engine wow. and it has the uh, well let me go there it is there's the engine if you have any questions I'll just leave it in the comments and I'll see you next time